Oh, uh, well, obviously, um, frustrated and disappointed with the, the, the dynamics of the game. You know, for such a simple moment, we get confused, miscommunication, and, and they get a goal out of nothing, really. Um, and we, we, I didn't think second half we ever looked in too much trouble, to be honest. Um, without looking at an amazing threat ourselves, but we find a goal, and I'm pleased with that because it's an ugly goal. I suppose to the group, it can't always be a perfect goal. It has to sometimes be a fight scene or a, or a toe or a knee or whatever you need to do, which we did. Um, and we should go away with a point, quite obviously, but we can't make mistakes like that. Um, I don't think it was helpful during the game. How we don't get a penalty for Calvert Lewin's yeah. foul? I mean, I, mean I, I think that's what VI is meant to do. I don't know. I think we're all a bit. Um, we're all scratching our heads about VR this season. I don't know how it's got into the, seemingly the, the situation it's got into, but it can't just be me. I think everyone's talking about it. So well, why is that not a penalty? And that one is. I think we've seen enough this season. We've seen, you know, I've seen people, do, you know, give a penalty, and they say, well, there was contact, and it's literally like the, the you know, a boot end on a boot end, and you think, how's that real contact? But that is actually contact, a proper kick in the shins. That kind of, how's that not given them? So they'll give me some weird interpretation of it, I'm sure. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's right on the last moment of a cross and you know the miscommunication is before that um, and no one deals with it and that sometimes happens but you don't want it to happen but you know weirdly I said to the group I said look sometimes you get that feeling when things are not going your way that things like that happen but I said we've got to push that away you know that's only us that can change it I can change it the team can change it you know that's an error of judgment and I said we've got to change that because not so long ago we weren't making them errors so it just sometimes feels like it's compounded because you're not winning games if we've been winning games you don't you brush it away but when you're not winning games it feels it feels bigger than what it actually is that's what's going to ask actually because from your tenure being characterised by the resilience that you built it's the team that you inherited but over recent weeks the team have lost Big moments, some decisions. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the details in both boxes. If you remember last season when I first got here, I said, that's where the gangs are. You know, we all debate the middle of the pitch, but the actual detail in both boxes is where the real real stuff happens. And not so long ago, we got on the right side of that. You know, one four out of five, and everyone was raving about the fact that we were defending that end and scoring that end. And then suddenly it just started to slip a little bit, and then it sort of gets in the psyche a little bit, and then the noise changes, and then we've got to deal with that. That's that's life as a professional footballer. I've, I've been through it a lot myself as a manager. 300 odd Premier League games has taught me that, and games in the Championship. So, can't rely on anyone else other than ourselves, that's for sure. In the past, when you have had those moments with sides, how have you changed it? And how have you been well, you, you need all the things that didn't happen today. You need a referee's decision, which is out of your hands, but you still need them. You need a performance, semi performance today, I thought. They've made this a bit awkward again down here because they've had a good run and they've changed the psyche themselves, don't forget. Sometimes you need a lucky one, you know, sometimes you need a moment, and sometimes, usually, you've got to you've got to perform. I don't think we're a million miles away from performances, but we can't make errors like that. I mean, it's that's you know, that's quite obvious. It's it's you know, that's really disappointing. Disappointing for the players as well, not just for me, because there's no lack of effort, there's no lack of commitment to the to what we're trying to achieve. But the moment, the true moments in both boxes. Then that's what's really got to change. And just finally, for me, um, was Amadou and Arno after came and came up? Yeah, I think I think they're minor things. I mean, I'll find out more. We're in tomorrow, so I'll find out more. But I don't think they're too serious. Thank you. Oh, Sean, um, do you think do you feel like those missed opportunity to actually fill a bit of a gap between the relegation? No, it's not that easy. You know, Premier League's difficult. Wherever you go in the Premier League, you don't get an easy ride. And like I say, these have they had that amazing run, then they drop down again, but they've had a good little run again, then pop back up. So you know, there's no easy, there's no gimmies in the Premier League. Um, so I, I don't take anything for granted. Or ever, I don't take football for granted, to be honest. So no, there's no gimmies. Um, still a tough place to come. Overall, we gave a half decent performance. It's not we're not as great as we can be because there's times we've been really strong and really fluid and delivered very strong performances. But you got to remember, everyone talks about when when we have these internationals, where oh you can work with the team. I can't because five of them are away. So how do you work with them when they're not there? They come back on. They played on Tuesday, Thursday. You have to do a light session. You haven't really got time. Friday we do some work. Then we have to fly down here. So you know they, you haven't had that time. So that being considered, I go yeah okay. That performance has got energy. It's got commitment. There's moments where we could have done better. You know, and that's 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 one of the things. So I'm just frustrated with it because to end the run, we've got to do it. We can't. I think the referees' decisions were, were, were not right, but you can't rely on that every week. We've yeah. got to rely on ourselves. Are you positive? You all have enough to stand up. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, it's, the question mark's been over this club for two and a half, three seasons now. You know, so it's not new territory. It's not new territory for me, and I've only been here just over a year. So that comes with what the badge is. But we've come through that before, and I believe in the players, I believe in myself, without a shadow of a doubt, that we'll, we'll change that. 
but you can't do things like you can't make errors like that because that's very that's obviously not helpful when you you know you're in a game you've just got back into it you you know you're seeing the game through and then you don't see it through that's obviously not helpful. Sean, how much of your role between now and the end of the season is going to be a, a psychological management role? It's more or less that anyway. Now management, it's not. Everyone thinks it's about four three three and all that. Trust me, the game's changed radically. I've been doing this what 12, 13 years now. The game's changed radically as management. It's nowhere near like that anymore. It's part part of your role now. Is soft psychologist, you know, not a trained psychologist, but you're kind of a psychologist from years of doing what you do. Been in football all my life. You learn, you know, to push and pull and work with the players and find it today. There's no point in me going mad at them because it's a it's a mistake. It just feels worse because there's a mistake at the end of the game and we're on a tough run. It just feels worse. But if you take that away, you go, well, there's no point in that. They're not going to gain anything. We've got to go again on Tuesday. They're frustrated as well, by the way. Never lack. There's no lack of honesty in this group. They're frustrated, very frustrated. So they're the things we've got to correct. Hi, Sean, you mentioned the drop off from December and results to, to now. What do you think has changed? Why, why do you think they have slipped to this success? Well, it, it creeps away. The Premier League's a funny thing. It, it, it creeps up on you. You know, we're playing so well. We're winning games. And, uh, you know, it doesn't seem that long ago. We were, we were actually probably the best performance that have been at Tottenham, and yet we lost 2-1. I think most people would agree with that. And then, you know, you, you have a soft one, and you don't get a result. Then you have a couple of draws, which you should win. Then you don't win. And then, do you know what I mean? And it just slightly starts changing. Like Brighton, we should see that through. We don't. And then it all just starts, and then the noise changes. And once the noise changes, it starts building, particularly a club like Everton, it starts building quickly. So then you've got to deal with the noise, not just the performance. And it starts, to your point, it starts changing the psychology of the whole club and the players. And that's for me to guide us through it and to them to play their part, of course. But I'm more than happy with the responsibility of it. That's your job. I've been in it for a long time now. That's it. It's not all, it's easy when it's easy, you know, it's comfortable when it's easy. What about when it's not? How are you dealing with them times? Do you think that noise is having an impact? On it, all, it, it, it always does one way or another, positive, negative, or the bit in between. It always does. We've had loads of them, think about it, we've had the 10 points, then that's reduced, and it's probably everyone's still going, well, how did it only get reduced by that? Then there's another one coming, um, possible, we don't know yet. But you know, all these things. But it's still just noise around the situation. Um, I've been trying to get the players to see through that. As you well know, you're younger than me, the bombardment of social media and all that noise it just keeps coming and coming. But that's part of a professional footballer's career now. That's part of, part of my career. You know, I know it's there. I don't worry about it because it's there. It's going to be a constant, good, bad, or indifferent. You can win games and you still get people saying you didn't do this, you didn't do that, you lose them. And there's lots of people saying you didn't do this, you didn't do that. That's part of what it is now. So controlling the controllables is the biggest thing for me. Just going back to the winning goal for Bournemouth, what would you have liked to have seen the team do better in that moment? Well, well, well everything. <laughs> you know, is that, you know, what, do you, what do you want to say? You know, we can stop the we don't have to give the first one away. Then we don't react to it quick enough, even though it's just a cross in the box, we don't react to quick enough to stop it. Because of the box, we miscommunicate. Could we head out? Yes. Could we come out for the line? Yes. But all them things at the moment in time collide in a, in a, in a, a bad moment and it causes trouble. Then things that normally you wouldn't even, we wouldn't even be talking about it. But now and again, over a season, things like that occur, and as if by weird the, the psyche of football, it always seems to be when you're having a tough time, it's very rare it seems to happen. That's all down to what you're saying, the, the psychology of it. But it's very difficult to control everyone's psychology at once and to have them all online with every detail of a 96 minute football match. You brought Dominic back in for better today. What have you seen from him? Yeah, I thought he played well. I thought he was he was handful. He looks stronger. He's playing stronger. Beto looks handful when he came on. Andre's going to get fitter. Um, I like what he's trying to do for us. You know, Ben stuck at it at left back because of Miko. He, he was ill, by the way. It's not an injury. You might know that, but so you know he's likely to be um, through that um, over the weekend. Um, you know, it's it's what happened. You know, you you're defining things that are the undefinable sometimes. So therefore, but that's still your job, find a way. So that's what I'll be looking to do.